In this episode of OS First Timer, Dinah will be trying out Haiku R1 Beta 5 from 2024. Will she be able to navigate her way around this non-Linux based OS? Keep watching to find out. So here you are on the desktop of Haiku R1 Beta 5 released on September 13th, 2024. This is a community driven continuation of BOS which was discontinued back in 2000. You've previously tried BOS which is not a Linux distro nor does it use a Linux kernel. Haiku also isn't based on Linux and it's aimed to be binary compatible with the original BOS since the project began back in 2001. Anyway, your first task is what time is it? 4.10pm. Fantastic. Can you find a clock for me on the operating system? See if you can find a clock, an actual, like, program. What is that one? Could not find the mixer. Sorry, audio won't work today. I couldn't get audio working. No, that's a calendar. calendar. Um, home. I wonder if it's somewhere at home. So far, are you feeling a bit lost? I am, but I can't find a clock. Okay. I mean, that that's a clock, technically. Yeah, close home. Okay, uh, how do you close home? <laughs> I think it's so different, you're not used to this. How do you close it? <gasps> yes, oh. you figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look for a feather. Well, there's three uh, yeah, There's a fourth feather somewhere. Can you find the fourth feather? Okay, fantastic. Are you serious? That feather is a thing. Is it like the start menu, essentially? No way. You know what? I would never have found that because I clicked that, 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 all that, and even so this So why tracker. the feather? What was it about the feather that made you feel like, I'm not even going to bother clicking Because that. I thought it was just decoration, just like this. Look, see these oh, feathers here? Okay. It just looks like decoration. It doesn't Got look it. like you can click it. <laughs> I would never have found it. Okay. okay. And I still haven't found it, actually. Uh, applica uh, uh, you clock. saw it in there, clock. Yeah, there we Fantastic. go. Fantastic. So there is a clock. We can move it, can't we, just like? Yep. I've seen a different clock before. Maybe it just is that one. Maybe I've tried so many operating systems, I'm starting to go insane. Um, I'm the one who's trying the operating systems. Oh, so can you just keep pulling clocks out? Yeah, you could just pull all the <laughs> clocks out. Oh, you can change the clock by clicking on it. Oh. And then you, when you find That's a, why you had a different looking clock. Yeah, and when you find a clock you like, you just grab it. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Oh, now I've got to find that clock again. Oh, there. Grab the clock you like and just pull it out. There okay. you go. So you can get lots of clocks. <laughs> now, that is an interesting clock application. And you only just discovered that yourself. <laughs> well, I swear it was different. There was like... It wasn't this when I tried it prior. Well, there you go. Don't know. It changes every time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, next up. This operating system, just so you know, was chosen by OS Daily Timer. And I'll get to you how that happened after four more tasks. Okay. So, your next task, stay tuned for that, is... And can this you... is a relatively new operating system, too. Only made this month. Or the beta version, anyway. Last month. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, that's technically, right, last month. but it's based on something old. So, this okay. is separate from Linux, separate from Windows, separate from Mac. Anyway, wow. right, save, open and delete a text document. Okay, with all these clocks around, I feel like I'm being timed. Um, <laughs> let's have a look here. <laughs> the, the clocks add to the stress, <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah, they do, actually. Okay. Um, home. Oh, no. Actually, you always seem to like going home all the time. I don't know, because home seems a logical thing. No, That's home right. is a folder. So the feather applications. Nothing there that looks to me like a thing. Why, why would it be? Were you going too doing? fast? I don't, well, in other words, it was there. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to have a look at a few other things here. Okay. Wait, time? Yeah, there was time. Click on it? time. No, not sound. No, I meant to <laughs> click on time. So you don't go insane. Let's move these clocks away from Diana because it'll drive her a little bit cuckoo if she has them near her. That was a really bad joke. <laughs> They're just getting worse. Now it is time to... Oh can you actually look at time now? Oh, yeah. It is time to look at... And I was like, wait, it's time to look at... What is it time to look at? Oh, yeah, time. time. Okay, let's open up time. There you go. That's what I saw. I saw the big clock and I was like, what are these little clocks doing? Okay, well, there okay. you go. Time zone, network time and clock. What is That'll clock? Do. No, but there was a clock in oh, time. Okay. I'm actually... Why is it? You're so interested in Go this. in time. No. 
<laughs> what is it with you? Just give me the mouse. I just keep missing. For mouse. those people who are new on OS First Timer, uh, Dinah does Timer. not usually... Oh, OS <laughs> First Timer! I didn't get it. Okay. I'm oh, sick so of these clocks. Show though. the clock in the desk bar, and you can display it with seconds. So click on that. Let's have a look. Oh, that'll really... Great. Just... Now you can see the seconds ticking by up there. Yep. Now, now you know that it's Wednesday. So that's good. Now, okay, while we're here, just a little extra challenge. It's kind of those icons have gone down mm -hmm. a bit. Do you know how you'd get the icons not to have gone down? No, not that. So what are those things there? Those are your open applications, first of all. I'm just closing. You're closing off everything? Okay. That thing up in the corner there is called the desk bar. And it's kind of like your task bar and other operating systems. So you can actually grab it and stretch it. So that all fits on one line. And not only that, if you grab over here, you can have it like that or down here at the bottom or stretch it out and have actually, it... Actually, that's more familiar. Like that, yeah. you know? So it's pretty cool, hey? Yeah, that's actually more familiar okay. to me then. Who made Haiku? This was an operating system that failed in the 90s uh, in comparison with, you know, Microsoft and stuff and, and Mac. And but it just... why was it only just created last month? No, it wasn't just created. It's been worked on continuously since 2001. Which so is based on the one from the nineties. Yeah, it's still in beta. Long, it's still in beta. It just doesn't. Does it, have... it doesn't seem that. It, it seems very simple. There'll be a full release one day. Like, <laughs> <Are you laughs> kidding me? Right, save, open, and delete a text document. Well, it's got to be somewhere here. <coughs> applications. But there's applications. No, too. well, you can get it from that way as well. But well, I'll give you a clue. This I see two of them. I feel like a poor man at the moment. I can't find it. If you stay here too long, I might need to pee. I really might need to pee if you take too long. And that's a special kind of pee. It starts with a P and it ends with an E. Really might need to pee. Oh, there really? we go. Hey, I think a P is to do with writing and there's also There was also document. another one there. I'll go down to styled edit. That's another one. So if you look at the icon... Uh, so which, it's the actual icon. I was reading it. Yeah, I, I, I find the hand. icons are a little bit more obvious than the... Uh, like, look at the icons there. P and Styled Edit. They're a pencil to paper, you know. And you like pencils and paper, so I'm surprised you didn't pick it up. But anyway. Well, I wasn't actually looking at the... I was looking... I was reading it. So, yeah, that wasn't very... Um, what's P got to do with that? Pencil? The abbreviation for pencil? You've got yellow paper and, and a red pencil, and that's style. That's red, that's yellow. Pencil. Oh, from my angle over here, because I've got a VA monitor, never buy a VA monitor because you will regret it. Everything you look at from side on, the colours are so off. I would call that orange, though. When I looked front on, I would say it's, yeah, orange. it's orange. It's like these little tabs. Yeah, that you hold yeah. the tabs. Do you prefer the tabs or do you prefer it to go across well, the whole I prefer it because I've been trying to touch that. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, because See, it's I'm just so tabbed. used to... You're not used to this tab Different. feeling. No, yeah. I'm not. And what's this? Minimise and maximise, probably. Probably. I think this one looks a bit more <laughs> interesting, this one over here. I don't know. Yeah, it's got it does. a few it's more, got more things. So I'm going to get rid of this one, so I'll close that Great. one off. Okay. okay, time to write, save, open and delete a text document. <laughs> There's only one problem. What? Look in the corner. What program do you have open? P. Oh. This is not the styled one. This is just the P. I thought this was because it's got all the little fancy things. I thought that was the styled one. <laughs> okay. Well, can you save that now? This shouldn't be too hard to save. Okay. <laughs> Non-styled. Because this had all these little extra things here. Yeah. Right? No, I didn't. think the styled one is actually the non-styled one. That's if you want to open an existing document. And that's saving it. Perfect, you found Perfect. it. Where are you going to save it now? You saved it, but where did you save it? Okay. I don't know. I saved it. You saved it. it. Look, it's telling you, actually. Right in the top bar at the top. Untitled. No, 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 no. Look. Home. Hoot. Boot. <laughs> boot. Boot. <laughs> okay. Boot no, home. it is boot home untitled. So it's in the home folder. Okay. And where is the home folder? You've gone there a few times. And just get out there. Yep. yep. So it's in the home folder. Where do you think yeah, that is? Yeah, I wonder where the home <laughs> fo folder is. There we and go. there it is. And that was the one we just created. Correct. There we go. Now, what are you going to do to the file? There it is, 38 bytes. I hope you're hungry. Move to trash. Yes, perfect. And now, oh, look, the trash bin's now full. There you go. It's got some papers and okay. a cube. Who throws out the cube? An empty trash means it's gone forever. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. It's there gone. it's gone. Next up, I want you to calculate... <laughs> Sorry, I'm 
reading my script and my script says calculate and then in brackets come up with funny calculation and I just realised I forgot to <laughs> Go for calculator. Desk count. Yeah, desk count. That's it. Good job. You've got to now. You've got to come up with a funny calculation. Do a very funny quickly. calculation. Seven minus nine in brackets times three. Okay, so. So seven minus nine in brackets seven times three. Minus nine in brackets and times, times by three. Three. What's going to be so funny about it's this? It's negative six. <laughs> Because I want to actually ask an AI quickly, what's so funny about this calculation, and see if it can come up with a reason as to why it's funny. Why is this calculation funny? <laughs> 7 minus 9 in brackets times 3. Let's see if it can come up with a reason as to why this is funny. There's nothing no. inherently funny about the calculation. It's a straightforward mathematical expression that equals negative 6. Perhaps you find it humorous due to an unexpected result. If you're used to dealing with positive numbers, the negative outcome might be surprising or amusing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Visual That's appearance. Really the way the numbers are arranged might look odd or comedical to some. A contextual joke, if this calculation was present in a specific context or meme, might be part of the joke or punchline that you're familiar with. So it couldn't really find anything funny about no. that. No. Now can you change the desktop background? I wonder if I had a quick tour. It okay, tell have me. a quick tour. So you're in the web browser called Web Positive. So welcome, what do you want? The desk bar, the window widgets. Window management tiles? It's showing you a tutorial where you can glue one window to another window. So let's say you had something So if I open. glue lots of windows together, then I've pretty much changed it. Well, the background. No. <laughs> the Windows key, maybe. Oh, there you go. Oh, it snapped it on. And they're, oh, they're glued together. Look mm -hmm. at that. You can literally glue them. Workspaces. So let's show you the, the workspaces, how this works. So what you do, how this works. If you go into desktop applets here and you go into workspaces, here you can see we've got a few different workspaces. So you've got this one with web positive. I'm just opening a few more applications. Oh, you're good at this, aren't you? See, I found a match. <laughs> I found another match. I'm lucky. Oh, no. dang. Okay, anyway. Nah, as soon as your luck runs out, that's it. You've lost interest. Oh, well, you and me, you want to play this with me and see yeah, who okay. can win, who can get the most pairs? Yeah, okay. We'll do that later on. Okay. But basically, the idea of this is how it works. You've got this desktop, and you could switch to this desktop, and there's nothing on it. And mm. all your programs are in here. And obviously, you can pull that one, that. And you can just drag them. To different desktops if you want so you can mm -hmm. kind of set things up in a way and switch between your different desktops. oh yeah yeah so it. yeah that's how it works the tour didn't say how you change the desktop background you can definitely have a look and see if you can find how to change the desktop background do you think so, it would be an application a demo or a preference what probably do you think it would be? desktop so the one applets. thing i didn't say is the one thing you go into desktop applets is the most logical thing for me because it's to do with the desktop. Well, I'll show you some of the but things you've got here. Open LaunchBox, for example. Okay. I'll show you what this is. So this is like a vertical dock. You could have it at the side here, and it's like, I want to open up Calculator. I want to open up that note program. Okay, I want so to open it's up this. It's almost like a shortcut. Really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So can you change the desktop background? Okay. So what do we have here? Appearance. Backgrounds. Backgrounds. So you can just... Uh, are you going to change the image? Yeah. Oh, Okay. I'm trying to get it into a not really nice sort of a pinky colour, but it's kind of like... That'll do. Okay, and apply. apply. What do you think about that colour? The background is simply just changing the essentially the colour. Unless you've got a different image. I mean, you could put your own image in there. Yeah, I guess. See an so. other, you know. Yeah. Or you could just click on none and get rid of that little image in the middle, and then it's just get rid of that word haiku if you don't want that in there. Oh. So you don't like the word haiku. You just want just the colour? You want to bring back haiku. I will bring back haiku. And you're bringing it there? Is that the spot? No. Now you need to give the right X and Y coordinates oh, to choose no. where you want it. Maybe say X is... No, let me try and guess something. Um, okay. 400. Okay, apply. And there it is. Well, it was it's almost... around. It's around the same spot. You I, kind of were I good. I kind of was good, yeah. Yeah, okay. Did you notice that every time you have a window open, it's... Oh, that yellow Yellow. Thing. I just thought... What would be a nice colour to go with pink? Purple. And you can... um. Appearance. Here in appearance, yeah, obviously. Oh. And colours. <laughs> How do you think you change the yellow thing? The window tab. Yes. So click so on the window tab and you can slide it to ah, whatever okay. colour you like. So you they've are... got it all the way there, so. I'm trying to make a sort of a more purpley colour. Maybe move that more that way and you can make a purple. 
No, that's more pink. But ah. Yeah, there you go. You're getting the purple. That's purple. Perfect. Okay. What would you want to make the panel background? Well, let's do something different. Um. Oh, see. That'll do. There wasn't an apply. Yeah, there is no apply. It just does it. Just it. Does it. Because they're saying, well, you're already doing it. Okay. So there you go. Do you like the look of these windows now? A little bit of purple. I do, actually. Made it more your car. I have. So with Garuda Linux, that was that gaming Linux distro, and you played the cube game. I do remember that cube game, and I got it, and you You did. won, and it took you 400 and 67 moves. And I made a joke. It was only because you were distracting me. I could have done it <laughs> much quicker than that. Okay. Well, I made a joke. And I said, I bet you that OS Daily Timer will download this operating system and download this cube game and he'll be able to do it within 30 moves. Mm -hmm. He makes a random OS First Timer video every day, like clips from our channel and stuff. Oh, does he only have 252 subscribers? I thought he'd have more than that. We've got to do another bet. I bet you OS First Daily Timer by 2025, January 1st, he will have 400 subscribers. Yeah. I bet you, and come on guys, help me out here. <laughs> I bet you he will have 2,000. Oh, wow. We'll have to see who's closer. We'll have well, to come, come on, on January 1st. Well, come on. Help me 1st. out. Help me out. You realize Subscribe to his channel. It's like two and a half months away. If you want a daily dose of OS First Timer, subscribe to his channel. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wait. I bet you OS Daily Timer will download this operating system and download this cube game. He'll do a video of himself beating this in at less than 30 moves. That's gonna happen. Just, just stop, you're ruining my thing. Challenge accepted. And that's his real voice. <laughs> in this episode of OS Daily Timer, I will be trying out Philip's cube challenge, which he has given me. So the chat. He loaded it in and it was like that. No. Eight moves, eight, oh my God. I did it, I did it. Eight <laughs> moves. Eight. What is the percentage of that happening? Exactly. <laughs> I completed the challenge. Okay, well, I record this intro after I did. So he completed the challenge. The challenge. So, um, yeah, so this was just the intro. It. He'd already completed it. And he did it, a better did completed intro. it later. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but this was his real attempt when it was a bit more okay. mixed up. Mm -hmm. I'll just segue to that segment after I just completed Alright, so I finally got Garuda Linux Bird of Prey finally working after a few hours. Oh no, Let's not really? Talk about it. Okay. It Games. worked for me straight away. A few hours. Q. No. Rolling Q puzzle. Now under 30 moves or something. <laughs> 131, not good enough. Okay. He really has made an attempt here. Yeah, he is. An algorithm. It's funny, I found that same oh, page when I was Googling how to beat this. Really? Yeah. It's, it's, it's talking about there's a, a good way to try and set it up. Yeah. It's like a strategy you use. Oh, to make it. Yeah, to get it set up in a... You make the oh. cube shape. And then once you make the shape, you then just roll the cube into it. No That's how you way. beat it. Yeah. I, I, I read that. It's funny he found it too. 89 moves. 89. Well, I mean, at the start. There, yeah, he's made it. it. There it is. Oh, my <laughs> 26. God. 26 moves. It's less than 30. Under 30 moves. There. And then he does it in eight. Yeah, and less then he does it in eight in the intro. 20 minutes. <laughs> it took longer to make the... Uh, it took longer to prepare this operating system. <laughs> so there 20 minutes and he did it. Challenge but the completed. Well, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of OS City Timer, and we'll see you next time. There you go. So that is OS Daily Timer. Mm -hmm. I didn't give him my outro. He managed to replicate it. Have a look. Oh, yeah, he did. He figured it out. He did.
because I made that myself yeah, yeah, from yeah. scratch, that outro. Yeah. And he replicated it and he got the music <laughs> and then he did the flashing and, and he synced it up with the music like I did. So, yeah, mm. he figured it out. Figures out quite a lot of stuff, actually. Yeah, he's pretty clever. Well, mm. anyway, I was on my phone. So on my phone, I'm logged into my 12 Patterns account, not my OS First Timer uh-huh. account. Um, and I said, now that was a well done challenge. As a reward for completing this challenge, I will give you the choice on what operating system Diana tests in the video that will feature your win, if you want to pick, of course. By the way, this challenge was only made available to OS Daily Timer, so everyone, don't try this at home. Oh, don't try this at home, as if it's dangerous. Yeah, it's, it's not safe. You'll probably go insane trying that <laughs> challenge. You know, anyway. <laughs> Talking about challenges, what about the pairs game we were going to do? Oh, yeah, Remember? pairs. Remember the Victor Tran challenge back yeah, in the day? Yeah, that was funny. Imagine if OS Daily Timer became the next Victor Tran and people were like, when they watch our videos, they're like, here before OS Daily Timer and stuff like when I first upload. What would it be? It was before Victor Tran, I'm BVT. A... So before <laughs> BODT is probably what people will be writing, BODT. Yeah. Where is this, the games thing? I've totally forgotten It's in where demos. It is. Pairs. Pairs, there it is. Okay, so... I was looking for games, so I didn't think it was okay. just pairs. So you go first and I'll go. Then you go, then I go. Okay, let's see how many points I can get and how many you can get. Oh. One. No, that's because you just looked at what I opened up. No, well, that's part of the strategy. Oh, where was it? <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Good, good job. Ah, no, it's my go. go. It's... I get another go. Do you? Yes. I did. No, but I didn't get another go. It when... doesn't matter because you didn't take another go. Oh, another are go. you kidding me? Oh. Okay, the... well, now that I know, now that I know. <laughs> I knew that pencil. And I get another go. I get another <laughs> go now, apparently. I get another go. Okay, you'll go. I've got two. You've got one so far. Oh, I knew there was a ball, but it was <laughs> the right ball. There we go, and I get another go. I get another go, apparently. <laughs> oh, I get another see, go, apparently. I uncovered that ball. Okay, you'll go. Oh, wasn't it this one, or that was a weird one? Oh, <laughs> okay. I was thinking. Oh, I get another go, apparently. I get another go. So you should never have said that, and there Okay, we next go. time I go first. No, I, you completed it in 32 quicks. Now, anyway, that's it. No, other stuff no, now. No, 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 yes, no. Yes, other stuff I now. Now, we want to explore the... Op- so your next task okay, is to you explore go now. the OS yourself. What? Yeah, we'll explore this. <laughs> oh, no. Um, so I get another go now. <laughs> I'm so glad you made that rule. I'm really appreciative of that rule. Okay. Oh, I saw it there. I get another guy now. I'm always going to use that one. (laughs) I get another guy now. Oh, that leaf. Yeah, I could never find that leaf. (laughs) <laughs> I can never find it in the new yep, magnifying, magnifying glass. glass. Oh, dang. Oh. Oh. It's 4-1, four, 4-1. One, four, one. Oh. I get another go. I get another go. Wait a sec, did I get another go after the magnifying glass? You did. And there we go. Do you know what I just realised? I think these are all the icons from the applications. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they're icons. Yeah, they're the icons from the applications. See, look, launch bar. That that one was the launch bar, that rocket one. I'll just show you some other things quickly in the operating system here in demos. Now, I should have looked up how you pronounce this. You know what this thing is. You've seen this before. You what can... is it? Mandelbrot. I, I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm just going to decrease the quality because it doesn't emulate very well. So this is a, something you can zoom in on forever. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's like a, a infinite zoom, essentially. So basically, there it is. And you choose a spot to zoom in on. And you can just keep zooming. Like I might be, oh, I want to see um, these little ones over here. See, unfortunately, it updates like that. 
But see, I'm zooming in further and oh, further. No way. And it just goes on and on forever and it never ends. You see what I mean? Really? Yeah, yeah. You can just keep going, going and going and you choose somewhere and you zoom in onto it and it's just, it's always got stuff. Oh, wow. That almost looks like a peacock's tail. Yeah, but you can just keep on going forever, you see, and, and just zoom in on for infinitely on something, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, that's what that Mandelbrot thing is, and th there's a few can different we, ones here. If we're supposed to do it infinitely, you don't quit. Unfortunately, I've got it on a thing where it's not infinite, because it's just the, like, when you have it like this, with these things, iterations 128 and subsampling on one, it's, it's it moves faster. See how I can do oh, it faster? But then if you have it on actual higher settings like this, See how it's, it's improved quality oh. with nine. And if I if I start trying to zoom here, where it's actually much closer to mm -hmm. actually being infinite, this it doesn't emulate it very well, unfortunately. So yeah, it takes forever to emulate it. Yeah, and that is infinite. <laughs> yeah, it's an infinite if you set it up high <laughs> enough. An infinite time, no, nothing would be infinite. So yeah, you've got different applications here and stuff. You've obviously got your screensavers. So have a little look at the screensavers. If you were to pick a screensaver, I'm going to this, pick this one. And you know what this one is? That one's the what we were just playing in the pairs game. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not where you pick the screensavers. But that's it. This is a screensaver. What? This screensaver is called icons, and it's random icons from the operating system. So if you click test... Oh, it'll put this over the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. so this is your screensaver. Very, very I must say, the icons are pretty nice. I don't know, something about the icons is very... Um... It's very 70-ish, actually. Especially with a cassette deck. There. No, but I'm just saying the icons are quite not. I don't know something about them. They crisp. I don't know. They 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 don't look pixelated. You know. Have a look at some other screensavers. So there's that one. Okay. There's blackness. There's butterfly. Look at what that looks Can like. Can I just, just say the blackness? Test. Very creative. <laughs> yeah. I click on but test and so so what it does is when you're not using screen, your screen fades to black while this little butterfly oh, thing appears. Okay. Which, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> that would be creepy at night if you're trying to sleep. You'd think there was something trying to communicate with you. draw on your you. screen. Yeah, imagine if you someone know? didn't know and they looked away and they're like, oh, what the heck what is this? What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, I uh, have a few more looks. So that's just debug now. No. Uh, this one's flurry. a flurry. I thought that was a, one of those <laughs> ice creams you buy at McDonald's, the McFlurry. Oh, no, G-Life. Oh, that's the game of life, I see. So I'll actually have to show you how this one works. So you know the game of life. It's where these little cubes move and stuff. And mm -hmm. it's like if, there's, if they're not surrounded by sun, they die and all of that stuff. And they move around and stuff. That's what that is. And you can obviously customise and stuff. There's leaves, see, mm -hmm. that just randomly appear on your desktop. That's probably the most... Appropriate for this operating yeah, system. Most appropriate. What, what's this called again? Haiku. Haiku. So this is probably... That's what most... you've probably set with haiku. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. It controls there. Yeah. There we go. Course. Drop rate. Let's lo increase the leaves and have some more variation. And let's see this. There you go. That's a bit prettier. Yeah, wow. I want to make it smaller now. I want to have the leaf size really small. Yeah. And the drop rate really okay. high. And the size variation high as well. Okay, so there's a lot of variety. There you go. So they're really tiny and there's some bigger leaves in there and some little ones. And then that would just, your whole screen over time would just fill up with leaves. No way. I feel the drop rate needs to be even faster, to be honest. Yeah. Like the maximum drop rate is kind of what I would almost put as the minimum drop rate. So eventually you just see leaves. Yeah, it'll just eventually be leaves. Well, let's whole just screen. wait for that now. Anyway, I think we will end this video off here. So I hope you guys... Well, look at it this way. Yeah. It's more interesting than watching paint dry. <laughs> so there you go. I, I want to wait. I want to wait till the end where it's all covered with leaves. Okay, then in that case, give a review of this operating system while you're waiting. So, what do you think about the layout of it? It's everything? quite different. Like, let's just say if you're if you're already used to using Windows or Mac, it's not easy to guess what to do. But eventually, I did find out. Yeah. I mean, look, because I was here trying to close. Where is? It? Don't because you'll get rid of the leaves. Oh, okay. You wanted it to fill up. Yeah, I do. I was, you know, there trying to close the window on the right, top right corner, but then I eventually found And you had trouble thing. dragging it around too. Yeah, and I would never tabs. have guessed that home thing is the, the leaf thing. I would have thought the home is home. Well, I've got a question. You didn't know that a leaf was, oh, what yeah. should the start button look like? What, 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 instead I, of a, a leaf? A symbol, a symbol. What like, symbol? 
Oh, are you telling me the haiku symbol is a leaf? The haiku symbol is a leaf. Oh, when you try okay. Microsoft the operating windows, system, the yeah. windows up is a window. Of course. So, but the problem is you've got a few leaves around the title and logo thing. You just said, but there's other leaves on the screen, yeah. right? Pause it there for one second. No, no. Oh, oh you've got rid of all my thing. Remember Windows 7, the Windows logo in the start button and the Windows logo on the desktop. What's haiku? The haiku logo on the start button, mm -hmm. the leaves on the desktop. So, you know. That just looked like it was sitting up there, resting up there, like a feather. Yeah. It didn't look like it was an actual thing. Nebula. Get back to the leaf thing. Okay. We're never, ever going to see all these leaves merge. Where is it? Leaves. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to sit and watch it. <sighs> Is that enough leaves for no, you? No, it's got to cover everything. I wish there was a button to make it like 10 times faster. I oh, know. It's a bit slow. Why didn't you choose the big leaves? Because they're a bit faster. I oh, know they are. But you chose I'm the little like... leaves because you wanted us to be here for as long as possible. <laughs> anyway, I think that's enough. No, Le no, no, no. I can still see the background. But do you realise the longer it goes, the slower it gets with actually covering the background? I know, because it's covering, it's covering, covering itself. itself. I know, I realise that. I can't see any forming. Do you know what? I think you got to the maximum leaf. No way! Yeah, there's a maximum. It stops after a while. And the phone's ringing. Okay, anyway, we'd better end the video off here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Unfortunately, there's no more leaves. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.